In this final video of the Selling Service Design with Confidence series with Mike Killen and myself, you're going to learn about the ultimate sales tip Mike can give us. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos, we've got the playlist over here. Make sure you check out all of them because we've helped you to overcome three of the most common sales, sales challenges we got from the service design community. And in this video, we want to close off with one final question. Um, are you ready for that, Mike? Let's do it. All right, so my question to you would be right now, if you go back uh, in time and think about all the things you learned about sales, what's the lesson that you wish you would have learned earlier about selling and why? Yeah, so I've been doing it for a long time and the more I do it, the more I realize and the more sales I make as well people typically don't buy products because they understand the product. And as insane as that sounds, we get very good at understanding the intricacies of a satellite TV box, and we sell all the, the bits and pieces on everything it does. Even the benefits to an extent, we get really good at that. People are more likely to buy because you are enthusiastic about the product and you are enthusiastic about the customer. If you show visibly, and people say I'm very animated and I move my hands a lot and I, you know, I yell, I've got voice inflection, that was learned over a long period of time. I'm actually a very quiet person off camera. I, I tend not to uh, be like this, partly because it's exhausting, but when you're with the customer and you're enthusiastic and you smile and you're well washed and you smell good and you look like the type of person that they want to get excited about, you're more likely to make the sale every single time. And I think we've tried to learn so much about closing tactics and sales tactics and budgets and how to word questions and all the ways we can word benefits and, and you know thinking of different ways to price models and different promotion strategies and funnels and marketing. Ultimately, if you are enthusiastic about the product and enthusiastic about the customer, they're more likely to buy an Jim Rohn, I believe, said, sales is a transfer of enthusiasm. That's mm. all it is. That's all it matters. Mm. So the, the word that comes to mind, uh, my mind is authenticity because mm. I see a lot of excited people, enthusiastic, just because yep. they want to make a sale. I, I, yep. What's your yeah, take on fair. that? Yeah, I think that's fair. But the reality is they are making sales. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that, that's the reality is they are making sales. People have a go at that and they go, oh, it's hokey. You know, um, you can see right through it. The cold, hard reality is they are making sales. If their product isn't good, there's nothing that you can do about that. Your job is to make sure that your product over delivers on their expectations on the on the back end. But the way to make the sale, selling and delivery are two completely different options. That's why we have salespeople and then we have the operations and delivery process. If you genuinely believe that your product can help people, if you understand who benefits, and one of the exercises we do is we write out, if, if someone buys this product, who benefits? And we'll go into it, well, the customer benefits, the customer's family benefits, their bank benefits, their shareholders benefits, their customers benefit, and we go into a long, long, long list. We go, okay, well, if they don't buy, what? who suffers? You know, well, the, okay, the customer suffers. And it shifts your perspective to think broader than just making money and the reality is yeah a lot of those guys might look like they're overly enthusiastic just to make the sale but they are making the sale if you want to do it morally from a perspective where you think well i actually am going to deliver a good product great all for you but the reality is we see time and time again that the best product doesn't make the sale the most enthusiastic person who clearly cares about the customer the most that's the person who makes the right, sale right <clears throat> yeah and so not being um being less shy and being more excited and understanding. Maybe I think you talked about it a few times. It's actually that you feel obliged to make the sale because you're going to help yeah. your client. Yeah. Once you get into that kind of mood, that, that yeah. changes the whole perspective on why you're it's, selling, right? It, just have fun. Hmm. Like even the guys, there's, a, there's a, a, a couple of guys sort of down the road from me and they are the most ornery, grouchy, grumbly, never buy anything, everything's a, every, they're, they're cynical about everything. But even when they're complaining, they're good fun. If I try to sell them, I've got like, I've got these 20 books, guys, you can give each one of them to your sales guys. I'm giving you a slight discount because we bought them at cost, it's 200 bucks. I'm not spending 200 bucks on one book. We can just give them one book and share it. You know, 
I really enjoy having these conversations with you, Simon, because you're always finding new ways for me to not sell these <laughs> products. Just have fun. And when you have fun and have a conversation with them, very rarely are people actually negative and very rarely when you try to help someone and, and yes, yeah, sell them something, they're gonna be negative response to you. Have fun with it. And yeah, you don't have to be overly animated, but if you feel that obligation and you think, yeah, I just wanna have fun with this and be enthusiastic about it, it's, it's far easier making sales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mike, we could talk about this for. Yeah, we, could, uh, yeah. we, we could make a YouTube channel about yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to sort of try to wrap this up, where can people learn more? What would be your recommended resources for people to dig into? So, uh, 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 two parts. First of all, genuinely, my blog on just on sales. It's all I talk about. Sell your service. So that's all I do is talk about. And the, I've got the YouTube channel. I'm sure we'll link. I'll to link that. to it. Yeah, yeah for sure. That. If I was going to go external, there's a couple of books. First of all, uh, Zig Ziglar, old school sales, really good sales training. He talks about the morality of selling as well as the more tactical stuff. He has one um, book or training series called The Secrets of Closing the Sale, which in my opinion is probably one of the best sales books in the world. Uh, there's also an audio sales program. It's a big sales training series. So even if you are not at all a salesperson, it sounds like the most salesy sales program in the world but it is a really good insight into just how important being good at selling is, not just for the customer, not just for you, but for, for kind of the economy in general. Very good training series. The other side um, would be to check out a book called Pitch Anything by a guy called Oren Claff. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Oren's work. That helped me take all of these ideas, all of my products and features and benefits and stuff, and put it into a kind of a cohesive argument or a cohesive kind of structure. Helps with my copywriting and all those kinds of things. So Pitch Anything by Oren Claff and anything by Zig Ziglar really, but tip predominantly the secrets of closing the sale. Very good. Awesome. I'll we'll make sure to link to it. Again, if you are not subscribed to Mike's channel yet, what are you doing here, man? Go check out Mike's channel. Even though it's not Appreciate about it. service design, you'll learn uh, a, a huge ton of it. So, uh, Mike, b before we close off, I would love to know from uh, you watching, if you've watched the whole series, props, good yeah. for you. You've learned a lot about sales. Uh, yeah. I hope uh, that you got some big insight out of this, big takeaways. Let us know down below in the comments, what were your biggest takeaways and what is the thing that's still on your mind that you'd like us to expand more upon? Right, Mike? We'd love to hear that. Yeah, definitely. It's always useful. Yeah, we, I'm sure we can figure that out as well. Well, we'll be there to help you continue this, this journey. Thanks, Mike, for being so generous with your time. Uh, it was I learned a lot from the, these sessions. So no, thanks. thanks for having me on, man. It was good. I really enjoyed it. I had a good time. And again, if you're not subscribed to Mike's channel, probably the link is over here. And if you'd like to continue learning about how to sell service design with confidence, check out this video because we're going to continue there anyway. So thanks for watching and I'll see you there.